Did you know Kennison at all? Oh, yeah, I did. I did my uh, graduate work in Shopping Lines with Sam uh, at the comedy store. Oh, were you I, a drug guy, too? <laughs> no, I, w- I was a drug guy. I haven't done drugs in 13 years, but when I was 21 years old, right. I went Sam? out to Los Angeles. I went, met him. Dude. Dude. <laughs> you hung with him. It was, it was 1987. I went out there to be a comic. Right. I get a job as the doorman at the comedy store. Right. And it's right before his time. It's right before he breaks, right? Yeah. I didn't know this guy. I'd seen him once on TV and quite frankly, <laughs> didn't like him. Right. I was like, he screams a lot. You know, right. I don't know. What kind of comedy is that? <laughs> and I meet Carl. It was the weirdest fucking time. Dude, I met Carl LeBeau. You know Carl. Yeah, I know Carl. The first time I met him, I thought I was a pretty, you know, Mr. Rock and Roll dude. I thought I could handle the drugs. And, yeah. you know, I was doing drugs on my own. <laughs> so I'm living in this house. And Sam goes, you know, he, he's, we go one-on-one, right? So I'd never met Sam before. And we're sitting there, and he's doing, we're doing blow. Right. And you know, it's just me and him. He's right here. He's looking me in the eye. He goes, look me in the eyes, Marin. Can't trust a man who doesn't look me in the eyes. And I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know this guy. Yeah. And I'm looking him in the eyes. I'm like, okay, I'm doing it. You know, and he's giving me the Sam riff. And like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you out, man. You know, and the whole bit. All right. And then we run out of blow. Uh-oh. And he's, yeah, this, and, and this is the first time I meet this guy. It's like four in the morning. He's like, yeah, we need more blow. And I'm like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know anybody. He's like, wait, you got a car? So we get in my car. This is the first time I met the guy. Yeah. And we're driving down Sunset, and he's like in and out of consciousness. And it's like, you know. And, <laughs> I know that look. Yeah, you know, and yeah, he's yeah. like, and, and like, and then he snaps up at one point. He goes, I don't even know you. You could kill me. And I'm like, I, where are we going? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what are we doing? But we drive to this guy's house. It's four in the morning. You know, and Sam rings the intercom. He's like, Sam, what is up? You know, and I'm like, oh, you know, where are we? Somewhere you know, on Crescent Heights or whatever. And we go up to this door. The, and Sam's like knocking on the door. And this guy opens, he opens the door. He's in a bathrobe. Right. You know, he's got long blonde hair. And he's like, could you just be cool? My roommate's sleeping. He's like, you got anything? And we go into this guy's room. And, uh, you know, and Sam just fall, he falls on the floor. And he goes, you got any, you got any booze? And, and then, like, they, <laughs> for some reason, all this guy had was miniatures. And he gives uh, Sam miniature you know, bottles of booze. Yeah, he gives yeah. Sam, like he gives a little bottle of vodka. So he gives a little fat Sam who's on the floor this <laughs> mini Smirnoff bottle. So you just see Sam. He looks like a giant. You know, just, you just, it's like Gulliver in the land of booze. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. So he's drinking this and he passes out. Mm. And I don't know the guy. The drug dealer. I, I, yeah, I don't no know one. Sam really. And I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'm going to take off. He's like, you're not leaving him here. <laughs> right. You, he's like, your well, responsibility. Right. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I don't want him to pull a Belushi on me. Oh, wow. So now I got to walk, you know, Sam, you know, get him up and get him out and get him back to where I live. And he passes out on the floor. It's like you're his nurse. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, the weirder shit had happened. And did you see him piss on somebody? Like He uh, pissed on my bed. Why? That you want to hear that? I, I mean, I don't know. What is that? This was for a reason. <laughs> that he pissed on your bed? Yeah, it was a, It was an interesting reason. I'll tell you the story. Back then, the comedy store is its own universe, and there was this guy that used to hang around. His name was Dave, and he was a Satanist. He had, like, a pentagram tattooed over his heart. He had, ta- you know, weird Illuminati tattoos. And he was a hanger-on. He'd right. hang out. Right. Sam couldn't stand him. <laughs> All right, so my job ultimately became, like, Sam, on Monday nights, it was no cover night. So I was the head door guy, and I was sort of part of it. But he never let me on the inner circle, thank God. I, you know, I got spit out by that crew. But what he would do, he would show up about 1130. And, you know, he's there, and, uh, you know, and, and Sam comes, and, you know, already, like, because I'm so involved with the energy of the thing, I'm like, oh, this is going to be a problem. You know, right. Dave's at the table. You know, and, and Sam would hold court, and, you know, all kinds of people. <laughs> So at some point, the party's going on, and uh, I, should, I should preface this by saying, like, two days before this party, Sam had brought all his guitars and amps up to the house, and we had a jam session. Right. He was always jamming. Yeah. We had a big yeah. jam session out on the patio over Hollywood. It was fun. I couldn't keep up with him and Carl, but we had a good time. And all his guitars and equipment were in my little bedroom, because they didn't, they didn't bring them home yet. I, I need right. to set that up. All right. So, so, so here's the party. It's going on somewhere, you know, on day two. You know, Dave stands up and goes, I'm going to tell Anton LaVey about you. Right. And the, the head of the Satanist church. Who right. came, a clown. <laughs> right. And, uh, you know, I'm going to tell him you're not a real Satanist. <laughs> so Sam just stands up and he throws a drink in this guy's face and he starts pounding on him. Oh, my God. Just yeah. beating him up. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that was his style. <laughs> drink. Boom. You know. Right. So I'm like, oh, man. So, you know, Dave, his, his shirt's ripped open. He's like, he's running around. And, and I, you know, I, I pull him aside. So you got to get out of here. He goes, I'm not leaving. And I'm like, you got to get out of here. It's crazy. You're ruining the party. And right. you're getting beat up. <laughs> and he just, <laughs> But he's not leaving. He's not leaving. So right. I'm like, all right, I'm going to put you in my room. Right. But I'm gonna, I, and, and you can you lock yourself in there. And, and so I gotta, Sam can't get to you. Right. right. And I, I got to go because I got a friend coming in. 
A buddy of mine from Boston is coming in. I told him all about like how I'm living in L.A. And I got to pick him up at the airport. So I put Dave in my room. I go to the airport. I pick up Bill. I take him to his hotel. And I sweep over there because I don't even want to go back over there. Right. You know? He wants to be part of that. That's right. Right. So the next morning, so this is, whoever's been going has been going at least two days now. Right. So we go over to the house because I'm going to show him the house. So we walk in and, and Sam's still there. With a couple other people, all right? So the party has dwindled down to just two or three people and Sam doing blow right. at 10 in the morning. Oh, my God. And I walk in. I, you know, first, I go over to my room. The door has been kicked in, okay? And all the equipment's gone. You know, sh- the shit is broken. Uh. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. So me and Bill walk into this room. And you know, Carl's there and a couple other people. And, and I just stand there at the table. And Sam looks up and he goes, I'm pissed on your bed, Marin. Why? You want to know why? Yeah. And I go, yeah, I, I do want to know why, Sam, because you let that moron sleep with my guitars. <laughs> so it's a weird moment. There's a beat, and I look at my friend Bill, and I say, I told you I knew him. All right. <laughs>